Hi there, everyone. It's Knives Cho, also known as Kathy Cho Isaacs, at where I wear the crowns on Twitter. Um, welcome to Tierra Tech, 10 minutes of technology. 10 minutes or so, I should say, of technology, usually on a Monday. So welcome. Um, we have, we're a little bit late today. We have a book fair going on in school today. We have um, some paper airplane experimenting that needs to happen this week. And um, in the space next door, I'll show you. We are dancing. Maybe I will show you. You can see a few kids dancing. Okay, yeah. Um, my window is a little blocked because um, I have a lot of pixel art on the window now, which is awesome, all kid created. And then I have a big giant post-it for cupcake class for suggestions. Okay, so um, today a, um, I walked in, my teacher neighbor friend said, hey, I have this, I made this uh, worksheet. I wanna add arrows to it. Okay, so um, we had an opportunity to do some problem solving. So well, let's, let's see what we did. Okay, I thought, oh, this is great for sharing. So um, always learning, it's like it's the first time. So I'm gonna screen share. I'm gonna say application window and I'm gonna pick my calendar. You'll get to see everything going on. Okay, so here's the share present to everyone, I guess. Okay, and then what I wanna do is I wanna swap over there. Okay, so um, today, this was the sheet. It might look a little bit different now that um, we did some things to it. Okay, so uh, what was going on was he wanted to, oh, so this is the new one too. You should actually, let me make a copy of it because I wanna show you the old one. Okay, so file. To make a copy, so because so, this is the good version now. So, um, file, make a copy, okay. And um, I'm going to make this copy, and this will be mine and not his, okay. And then I'm going to use the revision history, so that's going to be a little bit of a test, too. So, we're going to go way back to this morning before it looked as beautiful as, as it does, okay. Um, Oh, so there's no revision history. Okay, so anyway, ah, oh, you know, I know why, because I um, wound up doing it in a different product. Okay, so in, in, I don't want to give it away. All right, so I guess there's this thing now called partial product multiplication, which is not the way that, um, if you're my age, that's not how we learn multiplying, but it makes it a lot easier for the kids. So what you do is you take a two-digit number. Oh, I wish I could draw on this, but I can't. So you take the two digit number and you wanna multiply it by another two digit number. And so what you do is you take the tens and you multiply the tens and then you add the, uh, the, um, the product of the ones. So what he wanted to do was he wanted to add arrows to say, okay, take the 10, put it here, take the 10, put it there and so on. So I was like, oh, that's no problem. I would say insert and I was looking for um, you know shapes um, but shapes don't exist in uh, Google Docs, no shapes, okay? So um, so then, you know, he saw the menu, he said, oh, special characters. So we went to special characters. If you don't know this, this is kind of awesome. Special characters is where you get everything that you, you're like, how do I make this? So let's say I didn't know how to make a Celsius degree. You could um, look it up. That, I don't know how a nose comes up, and I didn't know that the water comes up, but let's say Celsius. Whoops, I can't spell. So there it is, right? You could also draw it and it would come up. So that's kind of cool. But here, I want an arrow. It's gonna be A, I'm rushing, so I'm not getting it, arrow. Okay, and I'm gonna pick the arrow in that direction. So I've used it and now you can see back here, I have degree, degree, degree. Okay, so an arrow though, if you use a symbol like this, it's in line. So you can't really do much with it. I could make it bigger, okay? Um, but I can't do anything but copy and paste into these spaces. And you know, you can only manipulate with, um, with, with space bar or whatever, and that's bad news. You don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna undo all this. So I said, okay, so we don't have that as an option. Why don't we say insert a drawing? Okay, that would make sense to me also. 
Okay, so insert drawing that opens a Google drawing right here. And then um, in Google drawing, you can add shapes. So I'm gonna pick an arrow. I'm gonna say, um, I kind of want it to go in the down direction. I don't want it to be thick, but I want it to be narrow. And I'm gonna take the spinny tool and kind of change the angle. So save and close. Okay, now what happens is an image comes in and this is in line, so it's treated like a character. We could say wrap the text, but then uh, the text around it is going to kind of just surround it and not do what it wants, what we want, or we could break the text. So that kind of lets you put the arrow almost anywhere you want, but it still is going to affect the text. So here's my arrow and that's tens over here going to the tens, but then that again is a little bit crazy. So we're gonna get rid of that. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Okay, so then the other option was, okay, well, what if we, so another possibility, what if we, okay, so this is, I thought this was a table, it might not be anymore. Okay, so I'm copying it, and then I said, oh, let's um, make a Google Slides. Okay, and the funny thing is, I don't know if it still exists. Okay, so Google Slides. Okay, but Kathy, knives um it's a horizontal page no problem what you can do is you can go over here to file and page setup okay and what we're going to do is we're going to change the size of this slide so right now this is standard 14 by 3 16 by 9 16 by 10 we can go to custom okay custom we're going to say 8 by 11 that's or eight and a half by 11 because that's standard size piece of paper Okay, and a half by 11 and ta-da, we have a tall land, uh, horizontal portrait sized sheet. So here, I'm gonna get rid of everything else and then I'm gonna say paste. I'm gonna cross my fingers and I hope everything comes over. So now what happens is our table got moved over. I'm gonna try to center it to the best of my ability and we have our guides for Google Slides, which we love. Um, they're grouped. This is the title. I'm gonna move the title up to the top and centered and then i'll resize it so the title is sitting in the title and maybe even get rid of some of the extra enters at the bottom okay so now we have a table and i'm going to say view 100 percent so i can see it and then in slides the great thing is it's almost like a desktop publisher because you can say here's a shape here's the arrow i want i want it to be pointing in this down direction Okay, not wide, but narrow. I'm going to spin it and say, here you go. And then I'm going to shorten it so that it looks good. Okay, and then, oh, I want to copy this. Whoops, not the whole thing. Just want to copy this arrow. And because I want this to be in the same uh, direction or angle as the other one. So here we go. We've got the tens going in this direction. And then step two would be take the ones and put them in the other direction. So I guess this is the sample and then some will be smaller, the two below are smaller. Okay, so, oh, then the next question was, well, do I have to um, copy and paste each one and do it every time? What if I have a setup that is, um, that's what I want. Okay, and then we'll just do this other one. It's not quite how, it didn't look, I didn't like how it looked, but that's me. Oh, so I should also do this. This is the tens. Let's move the tens over. Okay. And then um, you could also copy and paste this, spin it in this direction. Okay. And we got some juju on that beat. Okay. Um, I am not crazy about this. I don't like the overlapping, but um, yeah, he worked on the spacing, so it was a little bit better. Okay, so I'm copying and pasting that arrow, and the ones will go there. Okay, so this is bad, but you get my point. There wouldn't be so much overlap, and he, I think he did it as step one, step two. So let's say this is what we want. You can say click and control click, and what that's going to do is it's going to grab them all, and then you can right click and say group. So that's going to make this one group, and you're going to say copy, control C to copy, and then paste. And notice you have the whole set to reuse. Awesome sauce. Yes? No? Of course it is. Okay, so um, let me get back to the Hangout if I can find it. I might be getting better at this. Maybe. 
maybe. So I'm going to say stop sharing. I'm going to bring you back to me. So that was your problem solved moment for today. Started the day like that. So it was great. Um, so that's how you would add, if you have a, um, a Google Docs that already exists, um, you could bring it into copy and pasting it right into slides. You can change the orientation of the slide and then, um, and then add your drawings or shapes in there and then just have more flexibility in terms of where uh, you place things, where, you, where everything is laid out because uh, slides is wide open, whereas Word is linear and it gives you a little more trouble. All right, so that's about 10 minutes. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.